Today we're looking for hummingbirds in this right in the edge of log. I think it's important as photographers that we take our cameras out and play with them once in a while. Kind of keep things fresh and fun. And for me, that means just heading out into my yard and see if I can't catch a few images of uh, hummingbirds. Now, there are a couple ways to approach hummingbird photography. You can buy a feeder, which that's the best place to start. It's a lot easier to photograph hummingbirds when they come to a feeder. It's, you can pretty much almost pre-focus the lens and get them as they come in. And another way to do it, which I prefer, it's funner, it makes the yard look better. If I like to plant hummingbird-friendly flowers in my yard, what I've got going right now is some drifts of salvia that the hummingbirds really like. And that really makes the images, uh, I think it brings them up another level. I think it makes them more natural looking, being able to uh, photograph them in their, really in the, more in their natural environment. So if you want to take it up a notch, plant you some hummingbird friendly flowers, either in pots or in the ground, that are, that are really enhance your hummingbird photography. And also don't uh, overlook where they might perch. I've noticed that the, our, our hummingbirds tend to like to go to certain limbs and perch and make all kinds of noise. So that, that can also be a photo opportunity. The camera I'm using for hummingbird photography is my Nikon D810. Having a little extra uh, pixels it does allow me to crop a little bit and for this kind of photography sometimes that's 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 a big plus and I've got this really old Takina 5.6 lens super lightweight compact affordable and surprisingly sharp for this kind of photography it does have some chromatic abrasions but that's controlled pretty well in software so I'm actually quite pleased that I can uh, kind of repurpose this lens that I, I kind of thought really didn't have much use for me. Um, and every once in a while I find a, a good reason to use it. Now it's going to take a fairly fast shutter speed to stop the motion of the hummingbirds. They dart around so quickly. Um, most of mine is done around a thousandth of a second. That, that won't freeze the wings, but it's enough to freeze the the body and the head and that kind of thing um, and I don't mind the wings being a little blur from motion it just shows how fast they're uh, it just shows how fast they're, the uh, wings are moving when the light gets a little gets low and you don't want to crank up your ISO I have found that an off-camera flash also works pretty pretty good when photographing hummingbirds I will sometimes take a shoot through umbrella or a softbox and, and put it off to the side and um, find that that actually works um, pretty pretty good in low light for hummingbird photography at the feeder. For my hummingbird feeder I don't buy the pre-made nectar stuff I just make my own. I use a recipe of one part sugar to four parts water and as it gets warm it's pretty important to rotate that out, change your solution fairly fairly often because that, that really does kind of uh, sour and ferment. In the winter or in the cool, when it's cooler out you can you can have longer um, duration between changing um, the, the, the solution. But when it's hot like in the middle of summer you really need to change it pretty often. Then you also need to clean the feeder as well. We don't want the birds getting sick from what we're feeding them. Now this is generally a, a fairly summer or spring, summer spring centric type uh, activity. But this last winter we actually had some hummingbirds winter over and so I had to make sure I kept a, a feeder out that wouldn't freeze. I, so I'd be getting up at before before sunrise and putting the feeder out and then bringing it back in at night so it wouldn't freeze and it'd be ready for them when they uh, when they got up. So I guess I I've come a, come attached to my hummingbirds.
So good luck with your hummingbird photography. Get out and play with your camera. Keep it fresh and fun. Till next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.